hi everyone welcome back to laravel blog vu in our last video we looked at the back end our controllers for the post and for the categories in this video we begin to add the vu component starting with the router the vu router and the vu component files that will form the back end view for where we add our posts our categories or things like creating a categories or creating a post so now the first thing we'll do is to install the vu router so this is the vu router page and what i'm going to do is to use the npm to install the vu router so it says use npm install vu router just copy that and you just run it in this project okay that is done um, just to ensure that everything is okay let me just run npm install okay that is done now let's begin to create our components and where we need to do that is in the resources folder under the javascript folder we create all our components for the admin and for the public so i like to section my work I call this admin and also call this public in the admin I have posts and I also have category okay in this category now this is where we begin to create our view component so first i want to have the this new dot view is where i'll be adding my new category so it's basically just uh, an html template but this time around it's in view i have a few lines of code that i'll just copy out and paste in this section now this component is just as simple as it looks this form would submit a new category by clicking on this button once you click on this button type the category you want into this input field basically just create a new category okay now let's write the script that will enable us to do that as well I want to call this new new I'm using this Vu form. I'll add this Vu form to the, the the project much much later. Okay. Um, uh, the methods, like we saw here, there's a method that says add category. This is the method, the function that will be triggered when this button is clicked. So I'll write the method to do that now. just to be safe we'll copy this and make sure that the name is the same because if not guys these little things can take so much of your time when you're debugging especially when you're just looking at the code and you cannot find anything so i'll call this add category takes a promise okay so, let's take the response okay
what I want to do here is just immediately this form is submitted I push this route which means that after this form is submitted it would navigate to this route called category list so for now let's just leave that and create the next one which is the list the list of category Again, this is um, very easy. This is a table that displays the list. And we'll see this, we'll see this in a jiffy. So I'll call this one the name list. It's returning an array of category items. On mounted, this will get all the categories from the store. So we don't have to be requesting all the categories from the server. All the time so we get the categories from the server once and we save them to the store and then this can get those category items for us and display at this point and to delete the category we just simply get that category by the ID that's we take it out from the store and commit that okay so this is basically all we have to do for now let's create the next one which is the edits in case if we need to edit any category I'll do the same this just almost works like the creation form as well the only difference here is we are doing the update instead of addition the update category method is here so we have a route where once we navigate to this route on the server it will help us to get the category by id and then we can now do anything we want to do with that category okay so for now i think that's that let's go to the post so we'll create post as well we we'll do the same thing for post. First of all, the new dot vu and list dot vu and edit dot vu. Yeah. So let's start with the new. For this one, there's a lot of work to be done because the post carries more. So I'll just quickly explain what this is doing here you have to submit a new post like you saw in the former one for category and why we're doing the multi multi pad form data here is because we're going to submit an image as well remember that every post would carry an image we are setting this up ourselves as backend I've also decided to use the Markdown editor. It's a Vue component that we will install in a Jiffy. The Markdown editor uh, is very smart. It's like a rich text editor that helps you do things like italics, bold, underline your text, and adds basic stylings to your text. Much, much later, we'll see how all these codes are, are working for now let's just move on this is the method to add a new post so we're going to have a route called save post that would enable us save a post so let's deal with the list the list of posts i want to see the user who made the post the category the title the description the photo and then the kind of actions i could take like edit delete okay just like you saw for the category We'll also be storing these posts in the store 
we've not created the store for now but i'm just having all this here so that it makes our work organized so when we're ready to create the store all this is available already this is the method to delete a post we get the post by id and then we take it out from the store and in turn the store commits that to the db to the server now the edits and this is the edit just to update the post everything that the addition form can do the update form can do as well the difference here is we have to get the post by id first of all before we are able to do all of this editing as we continue in this project i'll be explaining all these methods and the things that we see and why i've decided to do it this way so let's just save all that and so i think we are almost ready wow we made a mistake here we are supposed to add this to the component folder and the public as well to the component folder okay so we are supposed to have the admin and the public in the component folder not outside all right now the next thing is let us create our routes our routes since we've added the vue router so i'll just add it here routes.js so the first thing to do here obviously is to import vue router from vue router okay We could define our routes this way and then export them or we could just export this route directly so we just say path so i want to have this path called dashboard and i want the component to be called admin home yeah eventually this is what we we'll have routes and then this route is exported you can see it here this route the router is exported yeah so we inject this route into the router and then the router can take care of the rest obviously you might have discovered that uh there are some components here that i've not added which i've declared in the routes already one of which is admin home we've done this categories categories okay we'll take care of this blog part later we've done category we've done posts we've not added this and we've not added the admin home as well so i'll do that right now directly inside the component folder and precisely in the admin folder i'll add a file called admin home Home.com. and there's not so much that this is doing it's just something very simple we just put something there so that we could have like a dashboard for now until we are ready to fleshing up the dashboard which is supposed to be like a statistical page that would give us information about how we are doing on our blog page i also want to have a master file that will form like our layout and I'll call it admin master this is router view give this an id let's say admin main
we'll do that for the public as well so for the public add a blog folder and then the public home dot vo and the public master dot vo for now let's leave that and focus more on the admin session because that's where our attention is uh, really on so in the blog here I'll call this blog post dot vo call this blog sidebar remember there's a sidebar that carries the list of categories mm, and we could have a single blog as well single blog that's like to show you the details of that post okay I think that validates all the routes that we have now so we have blog blog post blog single blog post uh i think we are true for now so i talked about having a v form where where i was doing these posts to add a new post this form this is the v form so since we've not created that i just want us to create it now install v form save okay that is done. The next thing we want to install is V Markdown Editor. These are things that we'll be using later in the project. Just want us to scaffold everything now so that when we're ready, we don't begin to run into problems. All right, that is done. The next one, uh, we want to install Sweet Alerts. Sweet Alert is a very rich form of alert in JavaScript. Instead of having the conventional JavaScript alert pop up to your face. You have this very intuitive um, alert. Okay, that's also done. A very important one is uh, font awesome, but this time around, by using the the font awesome five, and it is font awesome actually. It's font awesome. Okay. All right, that's also done. The last thing we want to install for now is Moment, Moment.js. Moment is a package that helps us to format time because we'll need it to format the time of when the post was made and things like that, updated time, created time. So we need Moment. All right, that's done. And with that, we'll wrap up this part of the tutorial. In the next video, we'll be looking at adding the store to the project. See you there.